Hi everyone, today's video is super exciting because I am doing a full face using Milani. It's mostly a full face. I have the exception of like two products maybe. I wanted to quickly mention that my video scheduling will be kind of wacky for the next quite a bit because I am moving next week to somewhere far away and I won't be able to be uploading as often probably because I'll be going through the movie process and starting school so my video uploading schedule will most likely change. I might just be doing more vlogs but who knows. So. Just want to put that out there, and with that being said, if you want to see this look, then go ahead and keep watching. Okay, so obviously I'm going to start with primer. So the primer I have today is the Prime Perfection Face Primer. It's the hydrating and pore minimizing one, and there's like three or four different kinds, and they all like claim something different, and I just liked the hydrating and the pore minimizing together, and it's oil-free, and for some reason, this tube legitimately feels empty, but like there's a seal on it, so I know it's not, but it feels really weird. It's like white pretty liquidy it feels like there's little grains in it and i'm really not into that based on the smell and the feel of this so far definitely not my favorite but we'll see how it goes on with makeup on top so obviously for foundation i'm going to take the one that everyone talks about which is the milani conceal and perfect two-in-one foundation and concealer and this is in the shade uh double zero light natural and I know they have more shades than this, like lighter shades than this, because I think at one point this was their lightest shade, but like obviously this isn't very light and I'm not even like the lightest person on the face of the earth. So I think they came out with more, but where I picked mine up, which is at my Fred Meyer, um, this was the lightest one. So going with it, it has a pump and it's a really pretty glass bottle. I love this packaging and we're just gonna go for it. The closest thing I can think of, something that reminds me of this, would be like the Clinique Beyond Perfecting foundation because that one claims to be a two-in-one as well. I'm just kind of, I'm expecting this to at least have that amount of coverage. Okay, so there it is on half of my face, and as you can see, it definitely covered pretty good. I wouldn't say that it's actually full coverage. It might be with another layer. Okay, just looking at it, like, from first impression, I think it looks really pretty on my skin. It definitely, like, isn't sitting on top. It looks like it's absorbed, and it's actually my skin, just like a second layer, you know? I was planning on trying to use this as a concealer as well and put it underneath my eyes and where I would normally conceal but I feel like it's too dark to do that it's gonna look kind of funny so I'm just going to go in with my regular concealer this is the Tarte Shape Tape nothing new about this and I'm quickly just gonna put this in my concealing areas and then before I start blending this in I'm just gonna talk about what I'm gonna set it with right after which I have two things that could potentially be really good and the first one is this Milani Prep Set Go Translucent Face Powder in 01 and then this is the Milani Prep Set Glow Illuminating Transparent Powder in 02. So this one is supposed, they're both supposed to be translucent but obviously this one is way more translucent looking but this one is supposed to have like illuminating factors so I'm gonna try out both. I'm probably gonna put this one underneath my eyes and then I'll try and just set my face with the illuminating one. Right off the bat, I think it set my under eye really pretty. It doesn't look heavy whatsoever or like it changed the color. So, so far so good. Not really sure how the flashback will work with that, but we'll find out. And I'm just gonna take the same exact brush and I'm going to see if this adds, it. I can see shimmers in it. Not like shimmer shimmer, but like, not like glitter, but like shimmer. So I ended up kind of just putting it all over my face to see if it would change anything. And I see the littlest bit of like a sheen on my forehead, but really nothing like actually noticeable. So I don't really see the illuminating factors in this, but I think it actually did set it really beautiful, really beautifully. And so, so far I actually really like both of these. I will do a flash test at the end of this and see if there's flashback, but so far so good. So now we're gonna do the rest of my face. So I'm gonna use this bronzer that I found. I don't think this bronzer is necessarily new because I think I remember Kathleen raving about it a couple of years ago or maybe even last year, whatever. It is called the Dolce Baked Bronzer in Dolce. 
Dolce. Dolce? Dolce. And, and this is just a regular baked bronzer, I'm assuming. So when you open it, it's like mounded, like how most baked things are. And then it comes with a little brush in here that no one uses. So I'm just going to, I'm kind of upset there's no mirrors in these because that would kind of be nice, but it's drugstore, so you can't really expect the most. So this looks like there's a bit of sheen or shimmer in here. So I'm going to just test it out. We'll see how it goes. Okay, I really like this. So this is definitely a hit for me so far out of everything. Oh. Okay, so that is this bronzer in Dolce. So I'm very, 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 very pleased with this. Super happy that I picked this up and this is definitely gonna end up being a staple of mine. I just, holy schnitzy. I can just tell when I love a bronzer and that is definitely one that I will love. So next we're gonna move on to blush and this is something that I actually know is new because they definitely didn't have this before. So this is called the Color Harmony Blush Palette and this is in Pink Play or 01. So I'm, I ordered this online because they're in Ulta now like I mentioned in the beginning of this video but um, I haven't tried it out and since I ordered it online it actually got broken in the mail so there's like a couple chunks in here that are just floating around you know for the time of their life so I'm probably just going to end up throwing them away because it's only like a little bit. So this is what the little blush looks like. I, I think why it's called palette is because it has different colors in here but honestly like you would probably end up just squishing it all together like I'm going to do. So I know that they have the base blushes like Luminoso that so many people rave about and they also have the flower ones. And I personally never tried the flower ones, but I do really like the baked ones, so I have high hopes for this. So we're just going to try it out. It looks like it's going to be pretty pigmented, so I'm going to use a light hand. And I'm just going to tap more towards the top because the bottom is like the darker color. Okay, so it's not as pigmented as I thought it was going to be, although I put a lot on just to see how buildable it was. It's definitely a buildable blush, which I appreciate because I don't like when they're super, super pigmented right off the bat because then sometimes it goes downhill real fast. So, from the looks of it, it has the littlest bit of a sheen in person. Um, I'm sure it doesn't pick it up on camera, but it is really beautiful. So, so far my face looks actually flawless. I'm freaking out. This is amazing. So, this blush is also definitely a good pickup so far and now we're gonna move on to highlight and the highlight is actually what I was pretty much most excited for for this video because I know that this is new I don't actually think they even had really a highlight before this one so this is called the afterglow strobe light in 01 so I think this is the lightest shade and this is basically just like a pearly with a little bit of pink highlight and I have actually used this this is like one of the two things that I actually have tried so far and I'm obsessed with this. This is so nice for a drugstore highlight. Drugstore has been stepping up their game recently so obviously you guys will just see how this works in about right now. Like that was one swipe. Are you actually kidding me? For a drugstore highlight that is absolutely amazing. This is probably the number one thing I would recommend along with that bronzer so far. This is so good. Like if you I feel like for the longest time the drugstore didn't have nice highlights and now that this is in the game like come on well okay so that is my highlight like thank you so yay for the oh my gosh the pan just fell out okay so now I'm just going to set my face because I like to set my face when my face makeup is done and I haven't done my eyes yet so I'm gonna use the Milani Make Last this took me months to find because I didn't want to order it online because sometimes ordering things online I just like I don't want to. So I had gone to Fred Meyer and like Walgreens a million times and every single time they were out of this and then finally one day found it. So here it is and I'm really upset because mine, I think the spray is like broken. I don't think all the sprays are like this but like I wonder if you guys can even tell. It like one goes up and one goes down. Like do you see that? It like squirts. You guys probably can't. So basically, after all those sprays I just did, right here and right here and right here are only what got sprayed, but like, I don't even want to waste, like, I probably use it three times and look how much is gone. Like, that's ridiculous. So, 
I really I want to buy another one and hopefully the spray will be different because this one just upsets me so much I think this is the best smelling spray I have which really doesn't matter because it matters if the product is good but I think the smell definitely makes me like it more because it just smells so amazing when it's like falling in your face so I definitely would recommend this I think that it actually does work really well because I have used this a couple times but the spray just sucks on mine I hope that the rest aren't like this now I'm gonna go do my eyebrows off camera and I will be back in just a second to do my eyeshadow. My vent turned on like usual, so ignore that please. But for my brows, I just used my Anastasia pomade and um, and then I used this Milani powder. This has been around for so long. Like my very first brow product was this because my mom used to use it for years and I'm, I love this. It is so good and I think it comes in two different shades but inside it has two different shades as well so I love this brow product and it is also by Milani just thought I'd mention that since we're on a Milani you know video okay and now we're gonna move on to eyes so for eyes I got two eyeshadow palettes and they are both like the same kind of palettes just different shades so this one is called 02 bare necessities and this one is called 07 basic mattes so I got both of these because this one had some of the shimmers that I liked, but then I liked this middle transition shade a lot, so I just got both. And we're going to try them out. So it is actually kind of sweet that it comes with this little tiny brush. This brush isn't like some drugstore brushes where it's just like a little sponge. These are like actual brushes, so I'm actually going to just try and use this one to do the lid shade. So I'm just going to go in with this big color right here. They don't really have, yeah. Oh, it's just called one. <laughs> On the back, it just has like the numbers. So I'm gonna go in with shade one and I'm going to just put this all over my lid. Okay, so for a light shade, that was really pigmented. It went on so smoothly and I think it just made a really, really nice base. I'm sure you guys could probably tell that it, it changed it, you know, a bit. Also, there is quite a bit of fallout right here, and that could be because I didn't top off my brush, and also could be just because they are powdery eyeshadows, but it doesn't bother me, especially since this is a light, light color, it's just gonna brush right away, and not gonna be a problem. So, oh my gosh. So, now I'm gonna go in with this lighter shade right next to it, which I'm assuming is called two. Yep, I was right. So I'm gonna go in with two, and I'm just gonna use this one, and I'm gonna put it all through my crease, pretty much what I just did, but like not on my lid so this is just gonna be our one of our transition shades our first one so this is still from that same palette okay so that shade didn't really do much it did exactly what I wanted it to though which was just to put on our first base um, crease shade so that's all it really did and nothing really special it blended really nice though and it was pigmented enough where I didn't have to like dot but tap into it a million and bajillion times so now I'm gonna go in with shade number three which is the more warm orangey shade in this palette the one that I bought this for so it looks actually pretty pigmented so I'm just gonna put this into my crease as well as our transition shade Okay, I think that looks really pretty. It blended out really nice, and it's definitely pigmented enough where I'm not like struggling to make it there, you know? But like, that's really pretty. Okay, I'm very happy with how that is turning out. I think it looks absolutely stunning, so yay, yay, yay for that. And now I'm gonna go into my second palette, which is the Bare Necessities, and this comes with the exact same little cute brush. So instead of going straight in with the black that is in this one, which by the way, I appreciate so much that this comes with a light base shade and a dark smoky black. So that is, this is like basically all you need in a matte, uh, matte palette. You can make a million looks out of this. Super basic and super dramatic. So then now the Bare Necessities palette. This one comes with four shimmers and two mattes. This is matte and this is matte and the rest are shimmers. So I'm going to go in with this darker brown to just deepen up my... Uh, outer corner area. I didn't want to go in with the black quite yet. So I'm actually going to try out this little brush that it comes with using the other side and I'm just going to use this to hopefully pack it on at least. It's getting a little bit splotchy and I think it might be the brush's fault so I'm going to go in with my own brush.
I think that patting it on is a better bet. When you start blending it, it becomes a little bit splotchy. So I would just pat it and then try and blend out the outer corners. Okay, now I'm going to go back in with my A Cosmetics brush with that orange transition shade. And I'm just going to add that into the crease to try and blend those two together. Okay, and then closer to my lash line, I'm just going to pack on that darker color again. Just because it, it fades away a little bit when you blend it out. We're pretty much going to be done with this look because I don't want to make it too smoky and I don't want to add too much craziness going on. So I'm just going to add a shimmer shade so we can see how they work. So I think I'm going to start with just this light one because I'm the kind of person who really likes light shades on my eyes. And I'm just going to use my finger as per usual. So I'm just going to... On my finger it looks really nice right there. So let's just tap this on. Okay, I think that actually looks so pretty. That shimmer shade is definitely not the shimmeriest shade I've ever used, but for $10 in this palette, I really don't think you can go wrong. These are amazing for what they are. I'm going to do my lower lash line and I'm just going to use that orangey shade and the dark brown shade um, to create that real quick. So let's just do that. That looks good enough for me <laughs> right now. So now we're going to try out this mascara. I'm gonna put falsies on, so I think I'm actually just gonna put on my falsies off camera real quick, and then I will try this out for my lower lash line and just blending in the top because I prefer to not put on mascara before my falsies, so I will be right back. Okay, my lashes are on, and this side is still drying the littlest bit, so there's a little bit of white, but I just wanna do this real quick. So. This is the Lash Trifecta, it lengthens, curls, and separates, and it's blue. So far on the top lashes, work just fine. My lashes are completely blended in with my fake ones. very pleased with how these look. I don't know if you guys can tell. I prob you probably can. <laughs> My bottom lashes look amazing. This is exactly how I like for them to look. They look long and still very voluminous. So the second coat definitely sold me on this. I do really like it. I'm not sure how, um, you know, if it flakes or not. I don't know how long the tube will last. Sometimes mascaras will dry out faster than others. But from first impressions, I really do like it. So last thing we have to do is my lips. I already moisturized them earlier, so we don't need to do any chapstick. So I have two products here. These I haven't tried. I have tried the regular lipsticks, and I'm, you know, they're just lipsticks. Like, they're nothing really special in my opinion. But this is the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in 04, all natural. And this is the Milani um, Amore Matte Lip Cream in Adorable 10. So I'm going to put on my lip liner first. Okay, I am normally not a fan of lip liners in general just because I usually like to use my lipstick to carve out my lips. I don't use lip liners too often, but I'm actually a huge fan of this one. These, This was so creamy, so easy to use. So the stove foot is kind of funny looking in my opinion. It like comes to like this weird point, which I might not be... Oh my gosh, this smells like Christmas and vanilla. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. I'm going to eat this. So far, I am madly obsessed with this. So that is the end of this video. I am so, so happy with how everything turned out. I will leave down below um, my little thoughts if anything changes throughout the day. How the lipstick holds up and if the foundation ends up being super crappy, then I will definitely let you guys know in the description box. So if you're interested, just go look down there. And um, with that being said, that is the end of this video. And I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next one. Bye.